There's one guy that you keep docking and diving. And you know who I'm talking about. I need some Gib. It started when KSI was riding Gib's dick. Are you afraid of Big Gib, though? Let's be honest. Who the fuck is Gib? I feel like Gib is the A-side. Jake is washed up. Everything to do with this fight, I'm number one. Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, I'm at the top. Your money fuck me! I'm out of a nice cup of tea for you! After I give you that big old right hand. Jake took the fight in hopes that if slash when he beats Gib, he can fight KSI. He's dismissing Gib. He's already focusing on me, and that's a bad, bad thing. That's it. I fucking know I'm gonna win. I can't say it with any more confidence. I don't get why KSI believes in him so much. But maybe we're missing something. Maybe we're, maybe, maybe we're the idiots, right? Big Bear, it's high altitude, no distractions. It's like a whole nother fucking level of like conditioning, cardio, focus. You can't escape thinking about boxing here. Yeah. Yeah. Training with Shane. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> uh -huh. Just everything clicked. Everything just felt right. There you go, there you go. Gib is definitely a stepping stone. Now go away, go right now. Keep working. Keep Bam. working. But you have to step on that stone to get to the next one. There you go. I just don't think Gib has ever been punched in the face fucking hard by someone who's pissed off. By someone who's been in the fucking mountains, just locked away when I could be in LA doing fun shit. Yeah, time. This kid is fucked. Being here, taking me out of that world that I've been so consumed by. Go to this event, do this, make money, create, create, video, 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 video. Having to be up here in the mountains, locked away, I've had a lot of time to think about a lot of like moments in my life and like what has led me to the point where I am now. I was one of the very first people on Vine. Like I was probably one of the first thousand people on the app. Just kept on making videos, told my brother about it. Next thing you know, <laughs> we're getting thousands of views and making viral videos. People are calling like, yo, let me pay you to do this video. Let me fly you to Texas to do a tour. So I moved to Los Angeles. The goal was to become a star. LA is definitely like a crazy place to get sucked into. It's extremely difficult to navigate at such a young age. Show me another kid that's not gonna act wild 19 years old with 10 million in the bank. Yeah, he's gonna get a flooded out patique and a rolly and a couple Lambos. What are you gonna do, persecute the kid? No, he's a kid. Of course things are gonna pop up. Oh, wow. Oh, God, it's already in flames. Residents in a West Hollywood neighborhood are angry. They've had enough of the chaos created by a social media star. It used to be a really nice, quiet street, and now we're just this, like, war zone. They say that it's like a circus. Fans. I mean, but people like going to circuses, right? The views, the money, it's an addiction that I had to overcome as, as a hurdle. No. What has been said about him is, you know, second person. They weren't there. But the real Jake Paul, the kid I know, is a kid that wants to do the best for him and the people around him. Hi, Just see my friend, friend Vito speaks Spanish. Look at me, sobrinos quieren una foto, pero les da pena. Okay, let's do it. Do a picture yeah. with what me. What are you guys? Yeah. Como están? <laughs> All right, everyone jump in. Like, I didn't sign up to be a role model, but all of a sudden, I have to be. Yeah, let's do it, bro. What up? High five. And I am going to change because I want to be a better person, and I'm in the public spotlight. Bye, guys. Get caught. Get caught.
Hey, what's up, bro? I like your video. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. I, like your I appreciate it. Stay in school. We were sitting there watching the Super Bowl, and everyone's phones started pinging, and we we're all being tagged in some tweet of this guy, KSI, who I had never heard of. Oh, wait, see, man's got this belt right now. If any YouTuber wants it, you can come get it. Jake Paul, Logan Paul, any of the Pauls, I don't care. Bring it. Jake Paul, Logan Paul, any other Paul, I don't care. It was definitely very, very surreal. Eventually, I came up with the idea of, Logan, you fight KSI, I'll fight the younger brother, Deji. And boom, that's how it all started. No one for a second thought that Deji would beat Jake, but me being from Vegas, I'm a super fight fan, so I understand that anything can happen in boxing. The towel has been thrown in by Deji's corner, and Jake Paul is your winner. You just never know. So, you know, it was just good to see him get, get the stoppage. The winner by TKO victory, Jake! I just remember that being one of the best moments of my life. All that hard work, all that shit talk, and I was just like, fuck you. Tell me when you first became aware of Gib. Who's Gib? <laughs> I'm still not really sure who he is. So with our next opponent, we need to make it more of a challenge for me. He has to be big, tall. KSI just kept on pushing that narrative of like, Fight Gib, fight Gib, you're afraid of Gib. Let's talk about Jay real quick. You afraid of Big Gibber though? You keep ducking and diving. I need some Gib. Bro, how the fuck am I afraid of a 5'8 fat kid who sucks at fighting? I did a poll. I was like, dear fans, vote for who you want me to fight. And Gib got the most votes. So I was like, fuck it, let's go. Madness, you know? Madness. You don't know about that. When he's grinding, that guy is not the laughing, jovial person that we're used to seeing. That is a demon. That's deep inside him, which allows him to take 20 body shots in a row and say, OK, I'm not going backwards. Three years ago, I was obese. Now look at me. Pro boxer, the zone, 23 years of age. He's going against a mentally unstable individual. He won't outwork me. He won't, impossible. Why do you say mentally unstable? <laughs> I ain't fucking right, I'm mental. I don't even know what's coming. Tasmanian devil shit. John Wick, on smoke. We went to Mount Charleston. It's a hard run, uphill run, very cold. You gotta sort of talk to yourself when you're running it. You can hardly breathe. Yeah, hey, I'm ready. Yeah, hey, I'm ready. Whoa. 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 He don't know. He don't know what he's saying. What they say with the altitude shit. Most people would be gra gasping and grasping for air. Madness. Madness. It didn't phase me. It didn't phase me. I knew to the top of the shit I had to get there. There's no stopping me. Focus on breathing. We got one minute. Jake's been saying, who the fuck is Gib? Gib is the mountain that you need to climb before you even think about trying to get to JJ. And I don't think you're able to climb the mountain. You ain't got your hiking boots on, boy. He knows nothing about me. We well, don't even know what he's in for. He don't know anything about me. James 30th, he'll know who I am. Seven-figure giver. So his name and Eason Gib is Big Nose backwards. I wanted Eason Gib, which is just Big Nose, yeah? I put it onto YouTube, taken. First one recommended, and Eason Gib, all right? It works, but... I was born in Riyadh, 
and I grew up and was raised in a place called Bath, which is outside of London. I started my YouTube in 2013. One of the biggest beats for matches of all time. He's known for making FIFA videos. I bought this bad boy. Some of them blew up. Right. I ain't so good there. And I'm out. Woo! You were overweight. I was overweight, yes. 100 kilos. 100 kilos fat. Couldn't run, couldn't even go to the gym. But I went to the gym, I was like, right, it's time to lose weight. And I met Vidal. Being a boxer, I incorporated boxing into his cardio. I thought he just found love in the boxing. That's what made him sort of put his name forward to be on this new event that JJ and Weller was starting. KSI and Gibb, their friends, there's an element of loyalty there and respect, which grew from boxing. <laughs> Gibb was my first sparring partner. He's, uh, he's just terrifying to fight against. He's just constant pressure. He's got a little bit of a screw loose. He's from Saudi Arabia, please welcome. Anderson, when I first walked out, you see I was a bit nervous. So I turned around and as soon as I heard my music drop and I took off my hood, nerves went away and I just game to fight. Body beat is relentless here. Oh, oh, oh wow, that is a he's down. Oh, he's Give has floored someone for the first time tonight. Stop them for round two. Drop them. That is the win he was looking for tonight. What's up, bitch? Beat you. He's calling people out. You know, he's calling people out. A guy steps up called Jay Swinglove. So then now Gibb gets a second chance to fight. That's just non-stop pressure from Gibble. Unstoppable. Full out steam crash bang wallet. You can't run from Big Giver no more. I'm everywhere, baby. Gib has worked hard through, throughout the years. You know, he's 2-0, oh, he's undefeated. And Jake, it's a perfect matchup. Hey, you want Gib? I was in the crowd, and you could hear the crowd chanting, we want Gib, we want Gib. Oh, you want Gib? Hey, yo, where's Big Giver? Big Gib! Hey, Dude, where's Big Giver? coming to the stage. Bring him up! Bring him up! I went in there and started pointing at him and saying, I'm coming for you. Oh, he's got a you big go, ass go, nose. Go, go. Can't see You're him. dead. Got your ah. nose. Got your nose. You're fucking dead. There was talks from November, and then I got a message saying that it's off. Then it went back on. Then it went back off again. And now, now I'm in Vegas and it's on. <laughs> When I win this fight, I go to the next step in my career. I become more than just this FIFA gamer guy. But for Jake, he's coming up against a guy that's got nothing to lose. Pivot, move left, move right. Pivot, pivot. This is the goal, this is the aim. Destroy Jake Paul, take his belt, take the keys to his house now, yeah, and destroy the full name. Keep moving. A lot of people messaging me saying Jake's bigger. It doesn't matter. Size isn't going to be an issue. Just grind away, grind away. We saw how size didn't mean nothing in the fight between Logan and JJ. And it's the same thing that's going to happen in this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Watching the fight was... It was painful. I was sitting in the stands like, what are you doing, Logan? Like, this is not anything you did in sparring. Like, you're fighting sloppy. And if I was in that ring right now, I would be beating his ass. To the winner by split decision. From the United Kingdom, the Knight Logan and I are connected in so many ways, and that's why when he lost, I was like, this is, like, I felt like I lost. And that's why I got so emotional. Bro, I said it last year, and I'll say it again. If I was in that ring this year, I would've won the fight. 
Why are you like upset? But I go into the fucking corner for the first time in the fight. I hear, this is your pro debut. It doesn't matter if you lose. What? Who said that? You did. No, he didn't. Jake took my loss harder than I did. It, it hurt, you know, because seeing my younger brother more affected than I am by something that wasn't even his ordeal, I think it says a lot about Jake's character and his passion for the sport. There you go, get. There you go, get fast. Take off. I'm Sir Shea Mosley. I'm the seven time world champion, three weight divisions. I've been inducted into the 2020 International Boxing Hall of Fame. I met Jake actually with my kids. I didn't know who Jake Paul was, I didn't know who Logan Paul was. I remember getting a text from someone like, hey, Sugar Shane Mosley wants to bring his kids by. Want to duck? Do you mind? And I was just like, no, like, cool. Like, he's one of the legends, one of the greats. You know, we became friends. And then after Logan's fight, I wanted to find a new coach. I texted Shane right away, and Shane was like, yeah, come on up, stay at my house. Good. Just like, yo, will you train me? Like, do you want to do this? And he's like, yeah, let's, let's do this. We on FaceTime, I'm cruising, Carful babe. I said, what's up, what are you about? He said, I got a new training coach, I'm ready, I'm going to Big Bear. I said, with who? He said, Sugar Shane. I said, Sugar Shane, the boxer boxer? Like, he said, yeah, that's him. I said, oh, oh, we got a problem. I said, because you were already a missile, but now you, you a scud missile. You got the goat, Sugar Shane Mosley, with the quick little feet, now training Jake Paul. What you think Jake gonna do? You think he gonna get worse? Uh... Absolutely not, rhetorical question, you gotta answer that. Pretty much most of my fights I had when I was a champion, from lightweight champion on, I trained the Big Bear. And I said, you know what? I, I just, I need to buy a house up here because I want to be up here all the time. I think this is the best place to be. It's away from everything. It's high elevation. This is a perfect place to train. <laughs> step it over to the side and step it over. It's a little intimidating to train with him. But don't rush it though. He doesn't take it easy on me. It's no bullshit. Okay. Because the reason why you're rushing because I'm blocking his jab. I'm here, I'm blocking it, I'm blocking it. That's what I like about Jake Paul is that, that he's willing to go out of his comfort zone. Jake is the type of person that really wants to learn. All right, rush it. Boom. He has a fighter's mentality and he understands the sport. Again. When I see the Gibbs fight, he's very energetic. He's very confident, and he takes a pretty good punch. Yeah. The challenge is facing somebody that has that type of unorthodox style. He's not following the blueprint. He's not doing what he's supposed to do. Like, they don't even know if they're gonna throw the left hand or the right hand. So how would you know? <laughs> so when I get in the ring with Jake, I'm trying to get him ready for what he's gonna be in the ring with, what he's gonna see. You know, I've been known to be a pretty good imitator. <laughs> well, the only thing Gib has is like his energy and like coming forward. And he's gonna realize that coming forward is getting him fucking clocked. At that point, he is fucked because then it turns into my fight. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are live in Hollywood, California, getting set for the big showdown, Jake Paul and Edson Gibb. You believe you're the A side of this fight. Why do you think you're the A side? The man's channel has fallen. And all the social media platforms, he's fallen. Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. My mom has more followers on Instagram than you. Did you know that? First time I've ever done something like that. I got a little bit fucking nervous at the beginning, eased my way into it, then lost my composure towards the end. Gentlemen, we'd love to have you guys do a stare down. Oh, got your nose. Got your nose. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Come on, guys, man. This is why people are taking you guys serious. <laughs> but yeah, it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Was well, probably the worst push in boxing history. <laughs> but you move on. <laughs> you move on. The risk to reward for me, my reward is so high. Yeah, I am getting the rewards by the day. Jake's risk factor is so high. If he doesn't win this fight, career done. 
I'm just working as hard as I can. He could be doing backflips and push-ups and training with all the greats, but uh, it doesn't phase me. I just got to train. I'm thinking more about what I have to do right now. My goal is mastering the fundamentals. That's it. Wow. Good, you. Twist that back foot more. Good. Learning the basics. That's what we gotta do. Footwork, jab, keep my shit tight. You either step back and throw or step back and get out of the way. Gabe is strong. Gabe can box. Gabe has heart. There you go. That's how you're gonna walk Jake down the Every time you punch, it needs to be out and in straight away. Gibbs style is bad for people because you need a certain level of experience and composure in order to overcome it. If you don't have that, then it's a very long, sad night for you. Yeah, that's better, that's better. It's a chess game. You got a game to sacrifice his queen. His queen is his face, that's it. Don't square up, just let your front foot do the work. Take away his pawn, take away his jab. There you go. This is your house. This is the pressure. Constant pressure. I don't know how Jake will deal with the constant pressure, which is going to happen. But he better remember it. That's why he's that big bag. He's got to be going locked away somewhere to match my cardio, match my conditioning. He knows that I'm bringing heat. It looks colder today. You think it's colder? A little bit. Jumping in the lake is anti-inflammation. Just another recovery tool. Alrighty. All right. You strip down and then we'll we'll start breathing. Woo! Mentally, it's putting yourself in an uncomfortable position and getting used to being in uncomfortable positions and thriving in them. So we're gonna go in the nose, out the mouth for 25 breaths. Three. And the breath work Four. helps me do exactly that. Speeding up even more. Gonna start lifting your hands up. We're using breath work techniques. So when that adrenaline and that cortisol kicks in, he can actually slow down his breathing and not let the adrenaline overwhelm him, you know? Ah. One more. Ah. For me, like jumping into the ice, that's what the beginning of the fight feels like. <sighs> okay, your body knows it's about to do something crazy that it shouldn't be doing. Three, two, one. Let's go. That's it. I want you to relax your body. That's it. That's it. Relaxing all your muscles. Jake is so dedicated, the most dedicated I've ever seen him to anything. There are no distractions. It's terrifying. I don't even know if it's healthy. Just like tunnel vision with one goal in mind. Logan literally grabbed me by the neck like this. He goes, you have to do everything that you possibly can to beat KSI. You have to do it for our family name. I need you to understand how important that is that you do that. Losing to KSI obviously wasn't easy, but in many ways, it's giving Jake an opportunity to no longer be the little brother. Here's the thing about this guy, Pinocchio, right? A guy that has nothing to lose, like, you have to watch out for that because you don't know how bad they want it. I told Jake to not underestimate his opponent. As long as Jake doesn't develop that overconfident mindset, which I did with KSI, I think it's gonna be all right. I don't look past anybody. Everyone's a worthy opponent. It's boxing but I fucking know I'm gonna win. I can't say it with any more confidence. I don't know where Gibbs level is at, but he's gonna get walked through. Then it's on to KSI. I don't like Jake, and I think the whole world doesn't like Jake. If he does manage to get past the big giver, then yes, I will fight Jake, 100%. But. I mean, that's not gonna happen. I don't think he's ready for Gib 
at all. And it's going to show January the 30th. I see Gibb winning this hands down. And uh, that will be the end of the pools. Big nose give. I'm gonna knock out big nose give. Down dog.